Hi guys, so today we're going to make mules with bows on them. I saw these, I think I saw them at Zara, and they had these mules that had these big bows on them, and I bookmarked it, and I was like, I gotta make shoes like that. Those are super cute. So then I got these velvet mules from La Moda, and I was like, these are perfect to DIY. So what I got is some velvet fabric to match it, um, the shoes don't have to be velvet, they can be whatever material you want, but whatever fabric you get, you want to make sure to match it. So I was walking around Joanne Fabrics with one shoe in my hand, trying to match this fabric up to the right fabric. So I found the perfect one, and I got a yard of it, and then you're just going to need scissors. I have normal scissors, and then I have precision, preci I can never say that word guys, precision scissors that are smaller, and this is optional, you don't really need them, but they will help and you'll see why later. And then just a glue gun. That's all you need. It's really easy. I'm very excited for these. And let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is measure the side of the shoe. This is going to determine how wide a piece of fabric that you need to use. So the side of the shoe will be the width of the fabric that you need that we're going to cut right after this step. Once you have that width, you're going to measure it against the fabric and then you're just going to cut in a straight line. So for this part, you're going to need to cut four pieces of fabric. You're going to need two pieces per shoe. For me, this is a yard of fabric, so it's four inches wide and the length is a yard, so three feet. I use a me the measuring tape to kind of keep me in a straight line when cutting. You can also just mark it with uh, fabric chalk and draw a line, a straight line, and then just cut along the lines so you make sure that your pieces of fabric are nice and straight. Then you are going to wrap the fabric around the shoe. You want to make sure since we measured the length of the shoe or the width of the shoe that it matches up against the width when you're tying this knot. You're going to make sure to tie a very tight knot and then you're going to double knot it. After you double knot it, you're going to place the shoe aside and you're going to tie a bow with the other piece of fabric that you originally cut. So you just kind of tie a bow, a normal bow, and you adjust the, the width or like however big you want the bow. You just kind of play around with it and adjust it and make sure you tie it really tight once you get the size that you want. Once you get the size that you want, you're going to cut off the ends of the bow because you won't be needing those. Then you're going to place the bow on top of the knot that you just tied and you are, you're going to keep the, the fabric long on the original knot that you tied on the shoe because now you're going to take one of the straps and you're going to pull it up and over and through so it kind of ties around the bow and it holds it into place. Then you're just going to add a dab of glue in the back to hold it into place. And you can also glue the sides of the fabric onto the sides of the shoe if you want to really just solidify and make sure it doesn't move at all. Once you've committed to where it's going to be placed, you're just going to cut off the excess fabric. And there you go, you have really funky mules with big bows on them. 
I made mine really big. You don't have to make them that big. They are a little exaggerated, I have to say, but you have complete control over the size of the bow that you want. I liked them big because I thought they were fun, but you totally don't have to make yours as big. But they're cool. I like how they turned, turned out. They kind of remind me of Jeffrey Campbell. I think they're cool. Um, but yeah, do you like them? If you do, make sure to give them a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all the love I've been receiving on these. I hope that you come back and you look at my other shoe DIYs. And, you know, I'm going to be uploading new ones every single week. So I've been getting a lot of suggestions from you. So please keep them coming. I promise I'm going to work on as many as I can. It might take me a little while, but I will get to them. So thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.